Hello teachers, today I want to share with you a tool, a, it's a, a notation tool which I find very useful yeah, for teachers especially if you're teaching online yeah, uh, and this tool looks something like this yeah? like you know um, you, this tool you can use to draw uh, you can use to highlight something you can use to highlight yeah or you can use to draw yeah because this is a little bit too big yeah I can do it a bit smaller yeah this is this is an annotation tool for teachers yeah so sometimes when you're teaching online you may want to do a little bit of drawing yeah and and hopefully it captures the attention of your students yeah and I find this is a very cool tool, maybe something that you want to consider using. Alright, so uh, let's go. Let's go and see what this is all about. Alright, so here we go. We pull out a new tab and you search for Epic Pen. E-P-I-C Pen. So here you go. Epic Pen, the world's most popular screen marker app. So click on it, yep, and here is the web page, web page where you will be downloading this pen from, okay? So let's quickly go through the features of this pen and before then you can show you how you can download this pen. Uh, number one, uh, we are going to download the basic, yeah? Uh, this is, yeah, this is our work just now, you can just clear it off and yeah, go to, to pull out a pencil. Yeah, we are going for the basic one. Okay, and it has a pen, it has an eraser, and it has a highlighter. You can see here, this is the pen. So once you click on the pen, I can use the pen. The next one is actually a highlighter. Yeah, so I can highlight. Oh, there you go. This should be the highlighter. Just for if it's a highlighter, you may want to make the a little bit bigger. This is a highlight. There you go. Now I'm highlighting it. Yeah? It's free. Yep. So the sizes, you can, the pen size can be changed from here. Okay. You can't type text eh? because you can notice here. I can't type text because text to um, you will have to pay if you want to use the text tool. Okay. Lines, squares, and circles also cannot. Yeah, arrow 2 cannot, whiteboard, blackboard cannot. You have to pay for that. But I think it's good enough. I mean, if you want to just use a pen and a notation tool, this is a very good tool. I find it's very light and very smooth. Yeah. So you also have a screenshot crop tool here. You can consider using. So sometimes after you have finished drawing something, you want to screenshot it. Yeah, this is where you, uh, you will click on it. And then you can drag that. This is so, and it will be screenshot. Yeah, where you want to save it, yeah, or you want to copy in the clipboard so that you can paste it onto a document or something like that, or you can cancel it. Yeah, if you save it, means that you bring you to where you want to save it, and you just uh, identify the folder where you want to save it. Okay, for now I will just do cancel. And interesting also. Uh, you have 16 colors to choose from. Wow, there's actually that's quite a lot um, colors to choose from, and the colors are all here. Yep, so you can choose your colors. Yep, for all the different colors from here that you can choose from. Okay, and uh, all right. So you can use this Epic Pen, uh, especially when you share a screen. So what you can do, you can always just open up an empty document. Or an empty PowerPoint, and then that's where you can uh, then annotate and teach your student. And I feel that this is something very good for uh, some uh, subjects, you know, especially when you need to explain certain things, yeah? especially maths or science and things like that. All right. So once you are done with that, and if you want to erase that, yeah, you can just do so. The erase on the certain areas, or you just want to erase the whole thing. You just click on this. Um, this uh, what do you call this like a rubbish bin yeah it will clear the whole screen uh, and if you want to undo you can always go back to it yeah undo means yeah, you will go back to what uh, this now I have deleted now I want to undo it or or even one I have drawn I want to undo I can do that 
All right, it's a very simple tool, nothing much, very straightforward, but I find it is good enough uh, for some of us if you want to consider using this. All right, so what you need to do is just go to, let me just close this. You just go to download, yeah, and then it will ask you to download onto your desktop, or you can download into your desktop or to a, uh, to a folder, and then from there, you just run the program and it will appear here like for example here yeah, you can see this little icon appear here and every time you click on it yeah, this will be the icon that will be floating on your uh, desktop so you can just pull it out by just clicking on this uh, uh, eye eye that looks sleeping or awake yeah and then you can start uh, annotating you can set, and the good thing about this is you can annotate anywhere. You can annotate uh, on your screen as well because it creates it creates a layer on top of the screen. Yeah, and yeah. So that's it, and I hope you will consider using this, and maybe something it will be useful for some teachers, especially those who wants to annotate. Yeah, uh, on on your classroom, doing your classroom, and doing your beginning. Yeah. 